Hello everyone, welcome to the channel Rad here from Rad's Good Tarot and this is going to be daily collective tarot reading, <clears throat> general one, of course, uh, for June 14, 2018. And we got four cards as per usual guys, the first one it is showing up the uh, topic of the day. The second card does expresses up uh, the things we should uh, restrict our or restrain ourselves of doing or rather like uh, what will happen, the worst possible actions we can take during that particular day. Then we do have the third card which is uh, the positivity or the best possible actions we can take um, at this particular day or the best possible intentions we could have. And then we do have the uh, fourth card which is the long term um, <clears throat> benefits in case we do keep the intentions uh, conditions here in check. So uh, going to the first card which is expressing up the topic of that particular day we do have the star card which uh, does point that 14th of June is going to be a day of growing hope. Because the star card is associated with hope but but um, hope is defined in many different ways and uh, the definition of the star card is that something is going to appear that we are going to look forward to or in other words is going to be a yeah it's, it's defined as a hope but in general is a, a perspective alright so we will have perspective or we will obtain a perspective that will allow us to look forward to the future about something regardless if our marriage is going down to shade or our job is going um, <clears throat> down the dumps as well you know uh, a very positive card for those who are finding themselves ho uh, hopeless and for those who does not see a, a brighter future in front of them now the star card also promises that during that day we are likely to find support from um, the people which surround us and as well uh, it is a, a sign of unfolding love that being said it is likely that we're going to realize or find out that uh, there is someone around us that loves us very much in case we are feeling lonely and in case we are feeling misunderstood very important when the star card comes up is that uh, we need to recognize that the age of upheaval and of uh, turmoil it is about to end all right and so we have to face the world open we have to face the world ready to um invite everything new that the world ha that the world has to offer to us into our lives then we do have the uh, intentions we should not have during that particular day and this is up the death card so death card it is a about um, as we all know, it is about change and transformation, but uh, intention-wise, we should not be afraid of um, <clears throat> the upcoming change which is um, which we are about to kind of go through, all right? So, the death card uh, in a negative position is the fear of... Um, of the change all right it is it is about the fear of that what we are going to face it's quite unknown for us or in another words um that perspective which we are going to obtain is going to seem very distant of us and uh, we it, it will be hard for us to believe that actually is going to make such a tremendous difference for our routine you, you know but uh, this day for what it seems from these couple of cards only it's going to be a test of our belief self-confidence self-respect as well also a test for uh, from us to the people around us all right so we have to as I said recognize that there are those who are supporting us and there are those who are also loving us and we need to recognize guys that the, the, the life is generally with ups and downs all right and uh, from one down that we have endured until now it is time for us to start climbing up the slope so uh, that card here, uh, it is as I as I said, it is a, a sign that or we are likely to uh, have a little bit of you know we we are likely to freeze <coughs> when uh, when these kind of um, new enterprises start coming up in our way, and uh, we have to be very courageous, all right, and uh, so we can actually accept them to infiltrate our environment 
and to uh, exert versatility into our daily routine. So uh, the intentions that is going to benefit us very well, that is the Sun card. So it's going to be a very major day for what it seems we have three major arcanas. So the Sun card, uh, uh, it does, first of all, it does ask us to have a, a positive attitude. The Sun card also asks us to step out and show our radiance. So in other words, we have to step out uh, under the uh, under the uh, light of the of the projectors under the spotlight. Okay. Also, this card points to peace. In other words, that we have to settle disagreements with people. So we can uh, leave that age of upheaval and and and, and tantrum behind us. All right, uh, an, an age of turmoil. The Sun card it is a, a very important to um, it is a very important card regarding our personal uh, our personal standpoint in the sense of that we need to start uh, attending more to those kind of activities and things during that particular day which are going to recharge us with vigor. All right, and also this card particularly and foremost is that does telling us that we should not push anything. All right things are going to start happening naturally and this is why we should not be afraid of the change which is happening naturally and if we try to push things well I have a very um, a valuable person very dear person to my heart which once said to me if we push it it's gonna be a shit that being said guys don't push anything it is just go with the current you know uh, swim with the flow and things are going to start happening naturally for you either into your career and either into your relationship so for what it seems all you need to do is have belief you know that the best is yet to come and um, basically that's that all right <laughs> so this is what the day in generally asks for us because the best is coming for uh, every single one of us in, in certain fields of our lives during that particular day. And last but not least, we do have the positive outlook or the positive aspect, the positive benefits that we are about to reap in case we do keep these couple of conditions checks. So, Five of Swords, many people would have think, you know, what is positive about that card? Well, many things. First of all, we are going to become much more confident in ourselves. Then, uh, this is due to the uh, realization of our personal capabilities and limits. We are about to kind of like uh, recognize who is a friend of ours and who is a surreptitious friend of ours, all right? So this is very important here, and even if this is what I start the reading with, all right? We are about to find who loves us, all right? The people around us that have love for us. That being said, in the long run, not at that 14th of uh, June, but in the long run, you are about to start realizing who is not your friend as well. And uh, that being said, you will have not much of a remorse um, of fear or remorse, you know, of pity to just say them, say to them that you don't want to speak with them anymore or you don't want to have anything to do with them anymore. Five of Swords, is, it, it is also a, a card of, um, as I said, personal limitations, but it is also about being calculative when one takes decision in a positive run, all right? So uh, be, instead of you taking a harsh decisions, uh, you will be able to draw from your poignant experiences probably just before the star card takes place here of the age of upheaval and, and turmoil. And uh, you are going to recognize that particular lesson you had to learn from there and exert it or um, implicate it into your uh, routine moving on forward into the future. So for what it seems, uh, this is going to be a very positive day. I hope that this, this, this reading is going to... Um, <clears throat> incorporate into a major field of your life all right so you can actually start taking breath and uh, start feeling happier and happier of course as i said this is a general reading and uh, that particular uh, situation could reflect something that is very meaningless to your life for example just to give you an example i i walk in a park with your dog all right so 
because I, I recently read that comment and uh, one lady said that this is a general reading you know and uh, everybody will experience something but how um, what kind of amplitude that particular thing will have is different for every single one of us and this is why I'm giving here an example let's say that this is about your dog your dog have been uh, ill recently all right um, this is an example again and this is an age of tar turmoil and upheaval because you love your dog but at June 14th when you walk in the park with your dog you are seeing the vital energies that are um, that, that start taking place within that poor soul and here why then we do have the death card it is because you are afraid to believe that your dog is getting better all right and then you taking under consideration why the dog um, have been uh, ill or probably is through a food digestion uh, probably you have changed as I said his food or something like that you know and thus you take note on that poignant experience and you never repeat that thing again so it could reflect just I gave you an example that it takes for something not much severe for your future development either into your career or either into your relationship that being said guys just look for the signs or kind of like um, I don't accept that this is craved in the stone and when we do have that reading for some of us is going to be a huge boost but for those whose everything is okay and all right and they have the job of their dreams they have the partner in relationship of their dreams is going to be about something that it's just you know it's it's true every day's routine so that being said this was your daily tarot reading for june 14 2018 i hope you enjoyed it and you liked it and in case you're interested in a private reading with me everything you need to know about it will be listed down there in the description of this video rat signing out now See you next time. Bye.